Hi guys, it's Ray. Um, I have a quick Dollar Tree haul to share. Quick. Um, it's not going to be all that quick because I bought a ton of stickers. But I also had a quick um, Amazon package delivered. So I want to open that up first. Um, it's actually not just what I thought it was. It's actually two packages combined. I'm sure you guys don't really care about my dryer fuses, but I'm glad they both made it this time because the last time I ordered those, they sent me a package of air, literally. So these are things for tumblers. Um, this is sealed. I love it when Amazon sends you two delivery notifications and tells you there's two items coming, but really it's one package with four items. So I wanted more flakes. Um, I'm already dropping them, but I wanted colored flakes. So I ordered a set of, I don't even know how many are in here. It's got a little pair of tweezers though, so that's good. I guess we'll find out. But it's got all these pretty pinks and purples. And these look pretty small, red and green, blue and uh, rose gold maybe. blackish color might be black and like a black and gold there's still more a blue and silver more silver which I obviously don't need because I've got enough silver for a hundred years and then there's Another green, a gold, a copper, and a blue. Um, mostly I wanted the specialty colors. Uh, that blue is different than that blue. And the green's different. Mm, I guess the greens are slightly different. But I wanted some colored ones for when I do my... Um... Oh yeah, these are much smaller flakes, but I think they'll still work just fine. For when I do... Um, like my marble ink cups, I want different colors for the veining. So I believe that was 20. I could be wrong though. I'm going to count them. Two, four, seven, eight, 12, 16, sorry. There was 16 of them. So that was a set of 16. And then I bought some more um, leafing sheets. To do basically the same thing, but in a different way. Um, and I believe these ones are slightly smaller than the last ones I had, but I'm not sure. Yes. So these ones come with a little bunch of um, makeup sponges, but these are like three inch sheets. So there's pink red. I'm not sure. Maybe copper. Again, I'm not sure. Silver. A purple. Blue. A light pink. Gold. Black green and a darker purple and there's quite a few sheets of each in here these are a smaller more manageable size than the like six by six or seven by seven or whatever the other ones I had were and then I only bought one one thing I think geared towards 
tumblers. I bought another one of these wall tiles, but I have a Dollar Tree basket here to put the rest of this stuff in because um, there's a shit ton of stuff in this bag and a lot of it is stickers for junk journaling um, and there's some health and beauty stuff in here so I'm gonna I'll show you what I bought in health and beauty but mostly I want to show you the stickers and the junk journaling stuff so I'm gonna pull all this stuff out and kind of sort it and I'll be right back okay so before I get started on my haul, I'm going to insert a short video clip that I shot in the store. Um, it is short because it was super loud and super busy in there and I couldn't record all of the sections. But they do have a new summer line called Shore Living. Some of it is complete items and some of it is DIY items. So if you're a crafter, you might want to get to your store like yesterday to see what they have in the DIY stuff. If you're somebody that just has a beach house or beachy decor, you're definitely going to want to check it out. The only thing I really would have bought if they'd had any is um, the fabric squares for this line were fantastic, but they only had like three left and they were the one that I would have least wanted. So I'm going to keep my eyes peeled for a restock on those and try and get to some of my other stores. But my other stores don't have the same selection. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the clip now. It's about two minutes. And then I will show you the stuff I actually bought. Okay, so some cool stuff there, right? Um, like I said, it wasn't great video. I just couldn't. Um, I didn't even get down the entire craft or square aisle on the video. I just, I couldn't. But that's how big my sticker section has gotten at that store. So I do have some skin problems and they get worse as we get warmer. And we've only had like two warm days, but already my neck is getting like, I'm having some skin issues, but... Dollar Tree has really stepped up their like health and beauty stuff. Uh, they've introduced some new brands and all kinds of new stuff. So I did pick up a couple things to try because in the past I've had really good luck with tea tree oil products and they do have quite a few of those. So I will show you what I bought. 
Um, I bought a papaya and vitamin E under eye cream. It says look awake and energized with a burst of hydration. Because, yeah, when I sleep till 1030 and I get out of 6 at 530 and don't go to bed till 630. Um, so I figured I'd try it. Um, isn't the packaging on these just adorable? These are from the Bolero brand. There's a whole lineup of this stuff now. Like tons of it. This one's also Bolero. This one is Cactus Water and Pear Jelly Facial Serum. Moisturize, replenish, dry, stressed out skin. So I figured I could try that out. And um, this is our other new packaging, which is really cute. But this one is Mimosa Flower and Tea Tree Oil. And I can already smell I got a bag of tea tree oil. This is the problem with tea tree oil is even though it works, it doesn't smell pleasant. So, but I got this one. It says shake well, massage three to five drops into face. So, but the packaging on all this stuff is great. Um, I just got a whipped body cream. This one is vanilla, vanilla bean and coconut just because I need another smaller lotion. So, and these are all sealed, so you can't smell them. But even though this one isn't packaged, it's um, a really cute bottle. Um, so I'll get into that in a little bit. We'll see. Not typically a huge vanilla person. Um, I did buy myself an e.l.f. eyeliner pencil. Um, I don't generally like eyeliner pencils, but I wanted a brown eyeliner, so I picked one up in coffee. Um, I really like a green eyeliner. I saw somewhere if you use like brown on one lid and green on the other, if you have hazel eyes, it'll make your eyes pop more, so whatever. I also just bought an LA Colors eyeshadow palette in... Um, it says nudes, but it's all browns and stuff. So I very rarely get around to putting makeup on, but, um, I bought this bar soap, which is peppermint and tea tree. Um, and this really cute, like Burberry looking box plaid. I thought I would try that in the shower. And my problem areas. The peppermint kind of overwhelms. It's just a regular bar soap. But the peppermint really overwhelms the tea tree scent, so that might work out okay. And just some more things in this section, I promise. I got a gentle face exfoliator in papaya and mango. Revive. This is also Bolero. And, um... I did get one of the Be Pure products, which is another health and beauty line of theirs. This one is Tea Tree Night Lotion. So I figure when I sleep, I'll just rub a little bit of that on. That way if it does smell, I'm sleeping through it. So that was my little health and beauty quick grabs. Um, they were actually stocking that section when I was shopping, so everything was kind of, it looked like they were resetting some of it. So, into journaling stuff. I grabbed myself two of the coupon holders because I thought I could organize possibly some of the stickers into these pockets. These fold out and make a pretty big pocket. But I thought if some of the sticker sheets were skinny enough, they would fit in there. And there's one, two, there's three pockets in each of these, plus like the front pocket. So I grabbed two of those because I am planning to start a music junk journal, and I would like to start one that I'll even print pictures for, like for the summer at the lake. So I figure I can do like one for each. And along the same lines, I grabbed two of these just folders, um, file bags, they call them. They call them button file bags. There's actually three in each of these packages, so I actually bought six of them. But I figured this would help me organize 
I really should have grabbed two colors. Like, I should have gotten the blues for the lake stuff and then, like, a purple or a pink for the other. But um, these are a good size. These will hold assorted papers and the stickers that won't fit in the sheets or in the coupon file of decks, whatever. Um, but, yeah, so I bought those just in thoughts of getting somewhat organized. These ribbons, I don't know if they're new. They were in the crafter square aisle, but they're part of Floral Garden. Um, they were new to me, though. I've not seen these. But it says it's a mesh ribbon. And I thought it looked kind of neat and earthy for the nature journal. To, like, use a piece of that as an overlay. So I got it in the cream color and the green. Those were the only two colors of that I saw. I got two packs of skinny washies just to have. I did find my bin of washi though, but this was all kind of um, more of the neutral colors. I mean, it's got, I think, hedgehogs and hearts on the one and then cactuses and limes, but I thought they were more neutral for the journal. And then I bought some of the little laser cut wood things like this one's clocks and then I just bought the ones with keys I figured they could kind of go in really any of the journals and then I bought some of these little cube things they had two different sets and I don't remember I don't know how many are in each one there's either four or five of each shape in these nine different little cubes so I thought these were cute and again some of these will go in each assorted journal but that was the one set and then this was the other set I don't really see myself using the crowns much but maybe in the music journal and I went through the card section because I always see people haul really cute note cards for journaling and stuff and my source selection was just pitiful but I do have a lot of um, scrapbook stuff and ephemera that kind of matches this nautical theme so I thought that might work in the lake journal and then I thought these foiled leaves were just really pretty for the nature journal so all right and then this is all stickers. I had cleaned out my sticker drawer shortly before I started the nature journal to pull things that could work with that one and just to clean it out because it was some of the stickers were 20 years old and all stuck to each other and whatever but so I'm gonna go through these. Um, I think they're all crafter square. I didn't even look for stickers and jot and planner stickers and stuff because I knew I was already way out of control but there's a whole line of these like vintagey metallic puffy stickers um this one's all like planter pots so I thought that was kind of neat for the amount of floral stuff I'm using on the nature journal and then this one is like vintage books and uh, this one is just really cool vintage pieces. And there's some more of those coming, but they're not all in order. And then I just bought some sunflower stickers and flat sunflowers. Um, these things, Billy somethings. I don't know. I like this one that was fern leaves. I happen to like pansies and violas and stuff, so I like this set. I like the bicycle. Um, I don't necessarily like all of them, but... And I did pick up three packs of the window stickers. I think they're different. I just thought they were cute. But this one's like a window and a chair and a watering can. And this one is the window... And the little bike and birdies and it says be happy and then there's this one so 
And then there's a summer set. And this cute camping set, which will work for lake stickers. That's what all three of these were for. There's another cute summer set. And some more flowers, hydrangeas. And more flowers, and these are dimensional. And then there's this cute, like, boho feathers set, which I thought would go good in, like, the music journal, because that one's going to be, for the most part, brighter colors than what you're seeing in the nature one. Obviously, this one with the turtle that says lake speed on it, I had to have. So, clearly, that'll go in the lake journal. Uh, some music instruments for the music journal. And these are those like vintage metallic puffy stickers again. This is another set of those that I just thought was cool. And another one. I picked through stickers for probably 25 minutes. And then there's these ones that are like, um, they say 3D motion. I don't really know what that means, but they look like ephemera pieces. So obviously these ones would be good in the nature journal, all of them really. And there's this set. And the third set of those I found was this one. And uh, this little mermaid set. I just thought it was really cute. So those would work in the late journal. And more of those metallic -y vintage ones. A different set of music ones. And I bought two sets of this set because the little um, pieces will work with anything really. These obviously I bought for the music journal. And these vintage hot air balloons were just too beautiful to pass up. And these jeweled ones. This is the other pack of those. I just got this one that says summer and vacation. And um, this set almost looks like um, like the stained glass you did when you were a kid. I thought they were cute, different. And I got some of the like chipboard hummingbird layered stickers. I don't even really need layered. They're just puffed already, I guess. But they've got jewels on them and glitter. And I bought the boho ones of those also. And then I just bought the butterfly ones, which are layered. They have like corrugated craft as the base layer. And then I bought the two sets of stamps that I did like. They haven't come out with any new stamps since they introduced them. But so that was everything. Um, Quite a lot. I'm gonna have to sort through all of these again. I did good though. I didn't duplicate any in my bag, so that was my haul. Like I said, most of it is for journaling. So hopefully, um, in next week's journal, you'll start seeing some of this come up. So that is it. Thank you for watching. I will see you next time.